What's up everybody, Michael Silva here to do some technical analysis on the S&P 500. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. I do these videos every day. I also have my weekly watch list known as the weekly scan every Saturday. And I also put out some quick tips every now and then. We're gonna be going over the daily time frame and the 30 minute time frame. Today we are looking at the SPX and we're gonna follow up a little bit on what we talked about yesterday. Let's get into it. Welcome back. We are on the daily time frame here looking at the SPX, the S&P 500. Let's go ahead and talk about today's price action. As you can see, we'll zoom in right here. It struggled to make it above what we've been calling the Bears camp. It got rejected at 3136, slightly went above it, but then got pushed down. And if you follow me on Instagram, on the 15 minute time frame, I kind of walked through a pattern that was forming. It was a symmetrical triangle, and it looked like it could break out either way. And it took off to the upside just a little bit today. And I'll show you the pattern. Let me just throw that up right here. And as you can see, it went up about a dollar. So if you did make the trade to the upside, congrats. Congratulations, but then it quickly there then failed and pushed down further. Now the market's not fully closed yet. We might get a bit up here in the last five minutes of trading. And you know, it, it happened just yesterday. But as you can see, today's candle, as bearish it is as it is, it engulfed the entire day's body from yesterday. Not the shadows but the body. This right here can be known as a bearish engulfing, which means that this is technically some sort of reversal pattern taking place. Now we also call these two days as green day and this one right here, this is known as a, sh uh, a shooting star or a shooting doji star because it's kind of a doji candle. And if the candle actually, if today, if we saw a gap down and it closed around this range, that would have been what's called an evening star, which is also another form of a reversal pattern. We mentioned that the price might just go sideways until it makes a decision, but it's going to have trouble getting up to close this gap up here the window from this island reversal. And the reason why is because there's just a lot of overhead resistance. Now it can still happen, but as you can see, these type of patterns, which I want to talk about today, this bearish engulfing. Now, it's not hitting all the ideals for a bearish engulfing um, pattern. Really, this body would, I, I would like to see this body a little bit bigger and green candle. So it's not quite that, but it's still, you know, you can make an argumentative, you, you, you can make an argument saying that this is a bearish engulfing pattern, um, which is basically a some sort of reversal taking place. You had the big shot up and then you had the second body right here cover over this body and it's moving to the downside. Now, when we hop into the 30 minute time frame, we're going to look at the sports and resistance that I drew out yesterday to see how they interacted within today. It looks like the pattern's really kind of just coiling up just to make a decision as to where it wants to go. Um, from looking at this, we might be seeing some sort of a pullback to a lower level and then maybe even just a bounce a little bit higher, but it's going to be within this channel, this range from 29.38, to 3137 potentially for quite some time because we've seen how it interacts, you know, in the previous history of the chart right here. And then we're seeing it increase volatility pick up right here at this point. So, I mean, we can always see some sort of gap up and just gap and go sort of take place. But um, this tends to be the range where a lot of volatility picks up because the market's kind of sitting there deciding, hey, do I do I want to go up? Do I want to go down? So we got to just kind of play that waiting game. All right, let's hop into the 30 minute time frame to see how the price action played out throughout the day. We are here on the 30 minute time frame. Really quickly, I wanna draw out the resistances that we talked about just yesterday. It was this level right here, 3136, and then it was the up part of the level. And then as far as the uh, support went, we discussed right here was the area of support. And then we also discussed that this level right down here was an area of support. Now this blue line, this uh, vertical blue line right here represents today's um, where today started and then it moved forward. Now, as you can see, the price today gapped up, which is a bullish sign. Now it gapped up at the level of resistance we've been talking about, that 3137. Clearly there were some data points right here in the history of the chart that it was struggling to get above it. That is the beginning entrance to the what we call the bear's camp. So as soon as it opened up, you saw this big pullback. Pullback, pullback, pullback. And then it came down and it hit the support level of 
3110. And that happened to be a very prominent area of support that we drew out yesterday. As you can see, it had support here, support here, support here. And if you look back in the history of the chart, it actually acted as resistance right over here. After that point, if you did play that bounce, congratulations, it went from about down there, 3110 to 3136, back to test that level of resistance. And then, now the market, like I said, it's still not closed. It's 12.53 right now. We saw the pullback these last few hours, and it came back to retest this level again, the 31.10 or 31.09 or whatever it is. Yeah, 31.10. And now, right now, you're seeing some price action bounce from that point. So the pattern right now, as we see it, the price is kind of hovering, waiting to make a decision but the price action really did cover the entire body of yesterday, which could be argued that it's a bearish engulfing pattern, which you could see more downwards pressure here in the very near future. As far as support and resistance goes, heading into tomorrow, the resistance I'm gonna keep the same. It's gonna be this 3136 level and this 3153 level. Now, you could potentially draw it out as a trend line, but for just, to Keep it simple. I'm just going to have it as this kind of zone up here from 3135, let's call it, to 3150, let's call it for just rounding purposes. And then as far as support goes, it's going to be this, continue to be this level right here at 3110, down here to 3080. If the price closes below this range and it closes below this today, which um, it's kind of floating right now, we have five more minutes, so it'd be interesting to see what really does want to happen right now. We, I don't see why it would be a problem to come back to test this level 3080. And now if we get a close below 3080 tomorrow, I don't see why we couldn't just come back and really test even the lower levels, which is probably right around here at 3000. Keep that in the back of your pocket right there. If that breaks, I don't see why it would be hard to reach this 3000 range. It might buckle around this type, this area right here where you see a bunch of different support and resistance. But I would say this, you know, 30, or sorry, 3,020 down to the 3,000 range. I'm just gonna say 3,000 because it's a big level of interest for a lot of people. So yeah, that's what we see. I would I would imagine that, you know, just looking at candlestick patterns, we might see that pop down, but we might see, like, we might see it just bounce to here and then head back up the price to go test the potential um, area of resistance that's up here. And that area of resistance is that kind of island reversal pattern that we've been talking about in the, in the um, previous videos. So the price can do a couple of things and it really just depends on where it closes, right? So if it closes above this, above above here, this 3150, I'm gonna clear this chart out actually. Let's make it simpler to look at. All right, so I made these two blue lines because I'll, I'll explain here in a second. The support that we're gonna be keeping an eye on is 3080. Yes, there's a level of support right here. Um, and if it breaks, I think that we'll test this 3080, but we'll see. I'm just gonna keep them opened up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see. And then we have a high resistance of 3150, let's call it. If the price breaks either one of these levels, I think the next target area would be those blue lines. For example, if tomorrow we get the price to close below 3080, I think that would be next stop would be 3000. That would be the range that we're targeting. Um, so I wouldn't technically, you know, I wouldn't go long throughout this range. I would say maybe if you're if you're a long person, if you want if you want if you think the price is going to bounce, I would pick up shares just above the 3000 or 300 if you're looking at the spy. And if the price breaks through 3150, I think that the next level of resistance that it could for sure test is that 3190. And that 3190 is the clouds in the sky over here, that island reversal that um, we were talking about in those previous videos. So those are the support and resistance areas that um, I'm going to be keeping an eye on that probably a lot of traders will be keeping an eye on. Obviously, there's a couple different more levels that we already talked about. And if they do break or close below either of those, I would imagine that it's going to hit those blue lines um, would be the next stop point. So that is all I have for you today. Keep it short and to the point. See you guys on tomorrow's S&P 500 technical analysis update. And I'll see you later.